Hey guys, today's video is going to be tearing this 14 and a half overhead valve apart again. Something snapped inside and I figured it's a counterweight or a camshaft or something, something's wrong somewhere. But it was still running so I know it wasn't the rod or nothing like that. And this is what the oil looks like it came out of it. Don't look too uh, promising there. Now when you turn it over, Something rattling inside the crankcase. You can hear it. Hear it. There's something rattling in there, so we're going to get ready to tear it apart. And I'm going to pull the flywheel cover off first and uh, pull, go ahead and pull the flywheel. I figure I have to pull the crankshaft out. It'd be easier to deal with the flywheel now instead of when I get it mostly tore apart. Okay, I'm using the uh, pry bar and hammer method on this. It's easier to do this with the motor mounted on the steel on the mower. Crankshaft broke. Well, I ain't never had that happen before, guys. Now we're going to have fun getting that flywheel off. Alright, guys, I finally got the uh, flywheel off. It apparently seized on there pretty good, so I had Alright guys, I just took all the bolts out and we'll find out what's going on in here. Got metal everywhere. Yep, that's what I figured. The uh, dog bone broke on the uh, counterweights what I figured it was. That's always a weak spot on them anyway. I figured I'd better go ahead and take the head off because I gotta push the piston out anyway. head bolts loose here. Get the push rods out. Yeah, we can take the rod loose. Okay, so I finally got the rod bolts loose. This one here I had to take a punch and chisel to get it loose. Ordinarily, I wouldn't be using a pipe wrench on it. This crankshaft gone anyway, so it don't matter in this case. See how I had to chisel the bolt out. <laughs> Here's the rod cap. It still looks fairly good. A couple score marks in it. Now I'm going to push the piston out. Piston's got some score marks in it. Rod's got score marks too. Now we're ready to pull the crankshaft out. bearing went out of the crankshaft too right here in the eccentric bearing it's gone too it's supposed to be tight like this side's a little bit tighter there's like a sleeve that goes in here and it's gone on that side that's probably what the the noise was at first where I kept running it it broke the, uh, the connecting rod here a lot of people hear the word connecting rod and they automatically think uh, the rod on the piston which is your actual connecting rod but this little rod here is the synchro balancer connecting rod it goes to a little pin in this hole right here and this pin came loose and the blocks cracked right there too we'll look at that here in a second so uh, yeah the engine didn't throw a rod it just the counterweights came loose but since the uh, 
crankshaft broke on this side and there's no fixing this crankshaft now if that was still good I could change all the counterweights over and replace all of it but in this case you can't do nothing with it okay so this pin right here that holds the rod and goes in this hole right here and if you look it's cracked there on the bottom side in two different places you can see it better from this side right there right in the center of the screen is one crack and right there is the other one on that side so uh, this whole thing would fall apart if you tried to run it again another thing that uh, I noticed is the uh, the cam bearing has got a crack in it too and that's probably from where the engine threw the rod the first time and uh, well this is the same engine that busted out the hole on the side when it threw a rod several years ago and uh, that's probably from that I'd say because it because uh, I had to replace the sump because it busted out this and the original sump and bent the camshaft so that's probably from that and uh, but yeah it was still running good just making a lot of noise <laughs> and the cylinder actually don't look too bad really considering I mean, you'd think it'd be all chewed up from the metal it got in the oil but it's actually, uh, you can still see my home marks in it too, from where I honed the cylinder. So, well guys, if you got any questions or comments, uh, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hate junking this, but I really ain't got no choice. I'll salvage you know, all the parts I can off of it. Anything that's worth saving, but uh, that'll be it. So, well, thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next one.